there, chickadee. How are you doing today? Thanks so much for joining us. We're Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we're so happy that you joined us today. And we're so excited because we are doing a tag. And we are so grateful and honored to have been tagged by the beautiful Daphne C. We love you, Daphne. Cannot begin to even describe to you how beautiful this woman is inside and out. She's from Ireland and has that beautiful, soft-spoken Irish accent, and she's just as lovely as a summer day. That is true. So be sure that you check out Daphne C's channel. We will leave her link below. Subscribe and support her and all of the mature ladies that we're going to talk about in this tag because we want to send a message to YouTube and we need your help to do it. So be sure to support those mature YouTubers and give them a like and subscribe and watch their channel. So Daphne C, thank you so much for tagging us. This is for you, babe, and it starts right yeah. now. Dominique Saxa, mm, good one. I love Little Poet. She's just absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh, so creative. Oh yes, Uppy Speeds, I think. I, I really, I really gravitated to her a lot. When we started our channel one year ago, we did not know of any other mature YouTubers except the ones that she just named. We knew of less than five. And that was part of the reason we started our channel, was not to compete, but to add to and to help grow the mature YouTube community. So before starting our channel, I too was inspired by Uppy Speeds 59. How can you not be inspired by her? I also found a great deal of inspiration and continue to from Wayne Goss. And I love Zoella. She is young and pretty and perky and extremely successful and talented, yet she is so real. And I like to think of her as a real chick. So yes, Wayne Goss, Uppy Speeds, and Zoella, those were my inspirations before starting our channel. And now that we have started our channel, we have met so many amazing women. All of you inspire us. Let me just be very, very clear. If you have a channel and we know of you, you inspire us and we love you but we are going to name three in particular. They are Carol from The O Carol Show, Natalie the Beauty Diva, and Laura from Shake Up Makeup. If you are not subscribed to them and not familiar with them, go check them out as soon as this video is over. Their links will be down in the description box below. I'm especially inspired by them as well as is Cindy because they were the three first people to give us a shout out to our channel and we will forever be grateful for that. And they are just awesome women and they have amazing channels. They bring reviews and tutorials, all things beauty and lifestyle and we just love them. So tell them we said hi. hi. Three things that I'm good at, and I am ashamed to say I had a hard time with this. You should be able to rattle off three things you're good at right off the tip of your tongue. You should know what you're good at, take pride in it, and just, you know, have that right there and say, I know I'm good at this, this, and this. And I'm ashamed to say that both of us had to spend some time thinking about it. But I know that I'm good at writing. It's part of my profession. I'm a good writer. I'm also very good at reading people. If you're a snake, I know it from the first time that I meet you. That is so true. I can read you like a book upon that first handshake. And if you change your spots somewhere along the way, I instantly know when, even when others don't and don't believe me. I'm like, something's not right. I'm telling you, this is going on. I have been able to determine when people have been having affairs and no one would believe me. And I'm like, I'm telling you, there's something going on between those two. No, I'm telling you, there's something going on between those two. No. Six months later, there was something going on between those two all along and I was right. So I'm very good at reading people and I'm told that I'm a very good kisser. <laughs> I am good at crafts. Yes, she is. I, I do enjoy crafting. I dabble in many mediums from jewelry making to painting to, oh gosh, so many different things. Incredibly creative. Mm, thank you. I do enjoy playing on my phone. I know that's really not what they were hoping to hear from me. It's mindless for me. It's when I need to detach and just zone out, I can play a game on my, on my phone and just be very content. 
Yeah, but you specifically play word games, and there is a talent and a skill to playing word games. That so is you're true. good at playing word games. I, I am good. Um, I do play uh, words with friends a lot. I'm starting to be pants off some of these people. And they are like global world wordsmiths. I mean, these people are amazing, and they have always kicked my butt. I'm getting up there. So you're good at word games I, and puzzles. I am good. I'm good at puzzles. And I'm also good at seeing the potential in people. I can look at someone and, and oh, honey, don't, don't be so hard. I will take you under my wing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's not good, but and that's what I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If you were to ask me this question a year ago, my answers would have been completely different. But I am very excited about the fact that I have lost 23 pounds and I am continuing on this journey until I lose at least 100. So I am excited that my weight loss journey has begun and it's successful so far, so I'm very excited about that. I'm also very excited about my improving health. Now I'm not going to go into detail, but 2017 was a crappy year for me health-wise and I was dealt a few devastating blows and I just said to myself that is not acceptable that is not going to happen so we have worked really hard I have spent the last eight months in physical therapy and it's my 13th round of physical therapy in the last seven years but I am so excited that I am getting my health back and because of losing weight and getting my health back and getting my mobility back, I'm now able to be excited about getting out, exploring more, doing more things, getting active again, going out to restaurants and clubs and listening to some live jazz and going out and having a girls night out. I haven't done that in years, so I'm super excited to what 2018 holds just in enjoying life. There's a phrase that I love that says, it's not the years in your life, but the life in your years. And finally, life is coming back to my years and I'm super excited about that. And it's true. I mean, she has made some major strides this year. Major. I mean, her prognosis, devastating. And she kept her head up and she said, oh, hell no, I ain't doing that. With a snap of the finger, like, and thank you for your support because you were a huge part of my success. That's what we do. My health wasn't so great either. I really struggled a lot with some things. I, I didn't get to do any of the things I wanted to do this year. I didn't get to do my 100 mile bike ride. I did do my triathlon, but I didn't do two of them. And I struggled with the first one. I literally struggled. I thought I was going to die. It was hard. I too am getting stronger. I am excited about getting back to the gym. That's some place I had stopped going because I just didn't have the energy. I didn't have it. And I was like, damn, I turned 60 years old and go to pie. It was hard, but I'm getting my health back. I'm going back to the gym. I'm looking forward to starting to run again and to cycle again. I'm gonna get that damn 100 mile bike ride in this year. Ding, dang it. And she'll do it too. That's right. I didn't have to think about this one at all. Honey, I go to the spa. Yes, I go to the spa. I get a relaxing massage. I also get medicinal therapeutic massage because that's been a big part of my recovery. I, I will tell you, when you get therapeutic medicinal massage, there ain't nothing relaxing about it. They beat you up. But to relax, I do get a relaxing massage as well as a facial at the salon. I will also put on relaxation sounds like rain falling or ocean waves. I grew up on the beach, so uh, ocean waves are very relaxing and calming to me. And I also, when I can remember, will breathe deeply. That helps me relax, particularly at night when I'm trying to fall asleep and I'm very anxious and keyed up. If I will practice deep breathing exercises, that helps me a lot. I like to listen to music. I will keep my headphones on. That way nobody can bother me. I keep my headphones on, I listen to music. I will meditate. I have gotten into meditation. Um, I do some yoga. I'm getting back into it and it, it is very relaxing. And reading, I just like to read. And play on my phone. Yeah, I'm seeing a pattern and a theme here. If you have any relaxation suggestions for us, hit us up with a comment below, please. 
So this has been a quick, easy tag. Again, we thank you so much, Daphne C, for tagging us. So the final part of the tag is to tag three other YouTubers. We tag Penn Smith Skincare. Tag, baby, you're it. Mary from Lipsy Fritzy. Go ahead, girl. We love you. Tag, you're it, Mary. And we also are tagging Kara's Corner. Tag, you're it. So thanks again so much to Daphne for tagging us. And be sure to check out all the ladies that we listed because one of our goals this year is to really band together with other women in the mature beauty community on YouTube and say, girls, we are here for you. We're supporting you. We support each other. And we are going to send a message to YouTube along with your help that mature women on YouTube matter. So if you agree, give us a big old thumbs up. Go check out our lovelies and leave us a comment below. And on your way down there, if you would click that subscribe button, should you not already be subscribed, and next to that subscribe button, you will find a bell. Ding! Ding that bell, and you will get notified each time we upload a new video. And you know, we're adorable. You don't want to miss us. Thanks so much for keeping us company today. It always makes our day that much more special when you spend time with us. Until next time, we're Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we love you. Mwah. Bye. Bye.